everyone, it's John. Let's just take a look at the market turn in the close. It's about 245 Central right now. Pretty interesting close. I'm watching the S&P. Well, this is the S&Ps right here. Uh, we managed to recover after being down 20-some-odd points. We've uh, relieved about half of that. And I've been watching the ticks, of course, as I like to watch the ticks. Some amazing uh, buy programs here in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. And then I'm just watching Apple. Apple's at all-time highs here, up 3%. And, of course, if Apple rallies here into the close, the market's going to rally, and that's how that's going to go down. So you can see we're, uh, after getting as high as 413.29, getting a little bit of profit taking on Apple. We've got about 15 minutes left, and we'll just kind of see uh, how we set up here. We've got uh, some trend line support here on the 987 tick chart. It's been kind of a kind of a weird trend line. It start, first, it started off as a channel, and then we broke above the channel. We've been starting to use that as support. So what I'm looking for here is a trade just into the close. And I'm looking at actually Apple options and also, of course, the stock indexes. And what I'd be looking for here is you can see that during the selling, uh, let's get a little bit more Apple action here. What's the high on Apple? Is, okay, we've got a drawing. Is we've got that high on Apple. If that gets taken, we're going to have a short covering kind of frantic rally to the close. Now, I was looking for downside action today. You can see that the S&Ps are down on the day, but when you got Apple here blowing through its highs, I mean, that can be a potential game changer in the short term. But it's very possible, too, that we have a situation where, I mean, it's a very, you can overall just a very weak market that if Apple's up at new all-time highs, the market's down on the day. All right, so we're just kind of watching the ticks here. We had these incredible, uh, we got as high as 1,400 ticks. And on the buy side, uh, that's pretty amazing. You want to discount that. I personally am looking for stocks to try to push higher here into the close. So we've got a squeeze that's selling off here. That's As soon as I start seeing yellow momentum bars, meaning we've got a loss of momentum here, I'm thinking of taking a stab on the long side. And you can see Apple here is even firming up uh, during this kind of decline. Very fascinating market uh, today here. So let's kind of see where uh, we end up here. There you go. Look at this. Apple's picking up here. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to have to scrunch this down a little bit, is as soon as the squeeze starts to lose momentum, I am going to pick up, um, start scaling long into the S&Ps. We're coming down. Got some nice selling coming here after hitting as high as 12.04. Apple's holding it up really nice. I'm just waiting for the squeeze momentum. That's on a 987 tick chart, by the way. And this is the high of Apple on the day. Right now, the ticks are negative. We're not able to kind of get much go action going here. But we still got momentum here on the downside. This is my first day back in the office after being at the Paris show. Met a couple of you there. It was good to meet you. So I've only done uh, two trades today. I did, uh, in fact, I'll just show you what I did. I... I went short uh, when this momentum peaked and started to roll back over along with the ticks. I went short here. It reversed out. I got stopped out for a loss. And then uh, once the ticks got plus 1,400, I bought the first pullback and then got long there. And so net net up 2,700. The first trade, I was down like 3,000. All right, it looks like we're starting to lose momentum here. Oh, and I say yellow bar. This is a new i7 computer. I've not completely set it up yet. Uh, so we don't have the yellow bar yet. All right, let's see here. It would be a darker red bar, like right there. Okay, we got one. I'm just kind of waiting for this bar to complete here. Ticks are showing negative action here. We have about 10 minutes left. I'm just kind of looking for a scalp into the close. I mean, the way I'm looking at this right now is that, you know, we were down... I think at one point we were down like 27, maybe 27 points. So I am actually just looking for a little bit of short covering in the close. Ultimately, I don't think that the market has changed at all. It's just during the day, you know, you just get these kind of, okay, look at Apple here. It's firming up. The market's going to firm up. All right, so let's come over here a little bit. i got to cram everything onto the screen. Um, I want to buy at least 10 contracts here. 
And when I initially start with something like this, I'm just going to start with the stop here at the low. Oh my gosh, this is pretty good action here. So let's get some. Well, okay, I'll move this out of the way. And if Apple breaks new highs, then it's done. I mean, the shorts are done in the short term. Swing trade, I'm bearish, and I actually have puts on the spiders and things like that, but this is a day trade, of course. I'm going to pick up some calls on App Apple here. Even just the $410 weeklies, uh, you know, just looking to see if we can get a day or two more of strength. So you can see the momentum here. You've got almost two bars of loss of a little momentum. So this is kind of where the rubber meets the road. Um, if this low can hold right here on the S&Ps, then shorts are toast. I mean, if I was short here as a day trade, I'd just have a stop at the highs. You know, you short here, you have a stop at the highs. So if we start to rally here, people are going to get worried. Um, you know, we may roll over here and die as well. It's this is a, honestly, it's a pretty tricky little uh, market we have right here. Apple consolidating about a dollar below its lows of the day. Right at that line in the sand, we've got about 10 minutes left for the cash session. And if we can get um, some buying programs to hit here, then we're going to get short covering in the close. Right now, you can see we're just churning. So you can see we've got a couple of bars of losses of momentum here. Um, what I'm waiting for, what I really want to see here to add to my position is that we actually take out that little swing high right there. I'm fine with 10 contracts right now. And we are at the lows. I said we're willing to get I'm willing to give this four points. We've got right now I'm down two. Apple's holding steady. SP's continuing to grind down here. Like this would have been a really perfect place to hold to get a really blistering short covering rally. And now we're at 253 central, so we've got seven minutes left for the cash session. At this point now it's all about the ticks. Um, if the ticks can't get up through zero, then we're just going to kind of blah here into the close. But if we can get that pop up here and then start using zero support, then we're going to get short covering into the close. Really interesting kind of a day. Apple obviously holding up really well. Okay, Apple's starting to get bid here. Um, so I, am gonna, I do want to pick up some call options here on Apple. I'm just getting the weeklies here. I'm going to scale in a little bit more. We've got 70 contracts of the, uh, what do I got? The um, 410s, the weeklies. Um, if we can close strong here, then I'd like to hold it into tomorrow. Okay, so it's starting to look pretty good for a rally into the close. Um, okay, I would actually like to add to this position. So I'm going to buy some more S&Ps here. So we gave it some room to let it prove itself. Now I'm moving my stop to the lows of the day there. Apple very strong here. I'd be a little scared to be short here. Now I'm swing short. I'm not scared to be swing short.
This is just for the next seven minutes of my life. Ticks coming down. I don't like how the ticks are acting here. They're not acting that great, to be honest. You know, if we can come down here and, and bounce back, then, you know, we'll see it. But we're actually getting some sustained weakness here. So you can see the S&Ps. Apple getting whacked too. So at this point, okay, so okay, so stopped on the S and P's right there. So it looked like we were going to get a nice little pop. But you can see the selling is is starting to swamp here a little bit. So now, now for the Apple trade, I actually want to hold on to that. I'd like to see that it can hold maybe four twelve into the close. And I actually would give the S&Ps one more chance uh, that, that's if this was a quick sell program that hit. Kind of an interesting Monday. So ticks bounced back pretty good. Let's we'll see if we get one more shot at it here. So the reason I'm not too interested on the short side here and in the close, even though the ticks are actually supporting it, is just like, is with the way Apple's acting, it's tough. You know, it's tough to get aggressively short here. Although that actually looks like the right choice. So I think what's going to happen here now in wishing this is that we actually close close to 1,200. You know, it's kind of a nice line in the sand, and then bulls and bears can live to fight another day here. But anyway, so that's it for the free video. I'll probably you know do some recap here on the on the premium video for all the different positions and things like that that we're looking at. But I thought it was a kind of an interesting dynamic there to see the the ticks and Apple and uh, the S and P's. A lot of stuff going on here. You got a down market. You got a strong Apple, strong Amazon, and just kind of seeing like the battle that's taking shape there. I was trying to see if I could uh, turn that into a winning trade. It ended up getting stopped. And still going to see where we're going to close on this. Like I said, I'll wrap that up in the premium video. You guys have a good night, and we'll see you at the next update. And the last thing I wanted to talk about tonight is I'm actually I'm really excited about this, is that Rob's indicators, uh, finally after much tweaking and programming, um, He's got those done, his level three ones. You guys are familiar with if you're in his room with his level one, his level two indicators. He's finally got his level three ones uh, where he uses uh, different types of market analysis and stuff like that. And this will be a free webinar that just talks about how to use them and how to use utilize them. And this is going to be uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, September 20th. And this will start at 7 o'clock Central. And uh, this will be a good insight into how he's looking at the markets, how he uses his indicators, and you can come in and take a look at that. All right, you guys have a good night, and we'll see you at the next update.